Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to do something a little different for this section of the tutorial series. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can turn this type of shoe into a shoe for your Raimi cosplay. So interesting little tidbit about the Raimi suit. Actually, so to know a little bit more about this shoe, I would recommend going to Nick Fox on Instagram and uh, TikTok. He knows a lot of information about the original suits used for the Raimi movies, and he let out a little piece of knowledge that I found interesting for the Raimi suit is that the shoes were actually like dress shoes and a very specific dress shoe. He explains it better in the video, but basically uh, the specific shoe had to have like a square foot to it. It had to have a square toe. And this one I found on Amazon was the closest to that description. Would I recommend these shoes I got on Amazon? Uh, no, I had another shoe in mind that cost twice as much, but I was running out of money and I needed to get this shoe thing. So I found the closest one to it, but cheaper. And boy, do I regret it. The sole doesn't come apart from this shoe. It just, it's kind of molded on there. It's not even really glued. I tried heating it up and seeing if I could remove it, but yeah, that was a no-go. It's also just, kind of uncomfortable on the heel part. I actually had to cut a slit in it, so it'd be more comfortable to put on. And it's just made with cheap material, and in all honesty, uh, what I did did not turn out the way I wanted it to. So in order to get the, the this like fake foam rubber thing material, in order to get this off, I actually had to like carve it out and like just carve out this big heel part and like trim around like this, uh, the extruding parts of it. And that's where it being cheap comes in handy because again, it's made of cheaper materials. It can be really easily cut and like, it's kind of worrisome that people are buying these shoes and actually think that something this might like protect them like against like a nail or something sharp because this the knife just goes right through this sometimes but yeah let's go ahead and start carving out the shoe we want or at least the shoe I want again just get a shoe that you can remove the sole from that has like a square toe and is like a loafer dress shoe type thing this is the shoe I didn't even take out the paper thing out of it yet. What we're gonna do is grab a knife like this and we're just gonna start to try to at least trim all of this off. You can see how it's like pretty easily just going through this. I would recommend doing it like this. It's like the easiest but not necessarily the safest way to go about this because you can easily just slip and cut your thigh. So do it against a table or just, again, don't do this at all. I don't chew on the paper. All right, let's try this one last time. There we go, now it's cutting like butter. Okay, so good start. Got some, a lot of cleaning up to do, but next I'm gonna try to chop off this heel. I'm not gonna record it cause that's just gonna take way too long. And uh, so I'm gonna come back after I chop this off and then I gotta clean it up a little bit. Alrighty, I just finished carving out everything I didn't need from the shoe. Uh, it's a bit rough in some places, like kind of see here, kind of rough, but honestly, I think it's gonna be okay. Um, I could hit it with some sandpaper, uh, but it's not really gonna do much. It's gonna be going under the suit and the suit's gonna have puff paint over it, so um, hopefully that'll draw the eyes away from uh, the shoe shape, I guess. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put the shoe on and then put the suit on, and then I'll show you guys how I, um, well, attach the soles. Alrighty, so I have the bottom half of the suit on, and then I have the shoe uh, under it. So this is kind of what it looks like. Tried to match it up as best as I possibly could with the one I already did. It looks a little janky because of the actual shoe. So that's another thing bad about this shoe. Do not get this shoe. All right, so what you're gonna need for this specific part of the tutorial is some scissors, a super glue of your choice. Today I'm just using this Loctite gel. I'm using these little like shoe patches that you put under, like, I think these are mainly for women's heels, but they have an interesting texture to them that I think kind of matches to the ones that were used on the actual Raimi suit. So I thought, why not just use these? They look similar enough. And um, unfortunately they do not sell like big patches, I don't think, at least where I found. Uh, but if you find bigger patches, you can go ahead and use them instead of having to go like this and make sure everything lines up the way it's supposed to. First step, Cut the bottom of the suit, unfortunately. You don't want to cut it too much. You just want to give it a little room to stretch, sort of. There we go. Make sure all the webs line up and whatnot. Go like that. All right, next. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down to the sole. And so this is a very experimental method, I think, of doing a Remy shoe. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do something like this yet. And uh, I'm kind of slowly learning why. So there we go. I just glued down this little tip there so it can stop flailing around. And then I'm just gonna start gluing around this area right here. All right, there we go. Let's glue down to the shoe as best as we can get it. Now we're gonna go ahead and use these red patches to do that. Place some glue just to really seal it in. All right guys, so I puff painted one boot. This took about three, four days to do. Um, I had to split it up into four sections. You know, I just stuffed it with a towel and I was able to puff paint it pretty nicely. But yeah, I wanted to puff paint one boot and not the other so we can get a comparison to see, you know, how well the webs like hide the seams of the shoe. I think, it, I think it does a pretty good job of distracting. But one thing that d is annoying is this part for some reason try to get it, is like scrunching up. So this is what it's supposed to be kind of looking like. And this is what it ends up looking like. I don't know why it's scrunching up like that. I don't know if it's because of the way I glued on the shoe because it's even happening on this. On this one, just a lot of loose right there. And again, I don't know if it's just because it's supposed to be like that or, um, but yeah, guys, that's how I did the Raimi shoes and soles. Uh, this is more of an experimental kind of thing. 
It's not perfect. There are things that need to be fixed with it. I will admit that. If any of you guys watching this uh, can make improvements for my original idea. Again, my original idea was to have this a lot, be a lot smaller, um, but I got the wrong shoes. So if you, someone out there gets the right shoe and, you know, makes this a lot better, please post it on YouTube, that tutorial, because um, that would be a lot better for people to watch than this video. Because this was kind of a fail, kind of a success. You can take from what you've learned from this video and apply it to real life. But, yeah. Make sure to subscribe so you can see next week's video, which is going to be... I was going to say my um, full reveal video for this, but I still have this side to paint. Um, but that's okay because I'm going to be talking about my next cosplay project and it's going to be an important video uh, because some things aren't ready yet per se. But yeah, I'm going to get back in frame. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something. I will see you guys next week.